preparation process for painting the room. And so that's going to involve a few tools and supplies. We're going to give you a brief description of these supplies so you understand how they can help your job go a lot quicker and get a much better result. Now we've removed our outlet covers and we've covered the floor. We've got our furniture covered up and now it's time to prepare the walls. And you might have a wall that's got a lot of imperfections or you may have some fairly smooth walls. So that's going to dictate what tool you choose for your particular project. Now, we can do something as simple as just a regular sheet of sandpaper in our hand and we can feel the wall and find these small imperfections and trash from the previous paint job and just simply sand those off by hand. We like the Norton 3X sandpaper. This is a special abrasive designed not to gum or get sticky when we sand acrylic paints and this is a common problem especially when we get into our trim. So we want to use a 3X sandpaper from Norton. We can go to a sanding sponge that gives a little flexibility. This is going to help us up around our door jams and edges and corners. And so you'll want a few of these. If we have an extensive amount of imperfections in the wall, we may want to go to a more involved sander, either an electric sander or a hand sander on a block. This is a particular hide tool that takes a sanding screen and this attaches to a vacuum. So all the dust that we sand, especially when we get into our patching, is going to be vacuum captured. But certainly even during the wall sanding process, we're going to get some dust. It's nice to have that attached to the vacuum. And so all the dust is just vacuum captured through the handle and then goes into the vacuum. If we have an extensive amount of imperfections on the wall, then we may want to go to an electric sander. Now this is the FS500 from Black & Decker. We like this sander because it easily attaches without adapters. You get rid of the little can, which really doesn't catch a lot of the dust. We attach it to a vacuum cleaner. It's made so all the dust is vacuum captured through these holes in the sandpaper. And you can use any particular sandpaper that you like. We like the Norton 3X because it doesn't get gummy when we're sanding acrylic paints, especially when we can get into doors and trim. So this is a good quick way to get the walls smooth before we apply our patching material. If we have large bumps and imperfections on the wall, typically when we drag our patching material over, that'll raise up. And so we want the walls very smooth, get all the high points off the wall, and then we'll go back and fill in the low spots. We'll do a final sanding, prime the walls, and then we'll go to our next step. Now, if we have a room that's very bad shape and a lot of walls to sand, we've got a great tool available, and that is the Porter Cable 7800 Wall Sander. Now this tool is available for rent in most of your paint source affiliates, and if you have trouble locating this tool, you can just check our website, paintsource.net. This tool features a flexible head that will stay flat on the wall, and we could sand all the way up to the ceiling, all the way down, and this is all done automatically, and all the dust is vacuum captured. And so we'll show this in a little more detail on a couple of the rooms that have some walls in really bad shape. One important component of the, any dust-free system is going to be the vacuum. Now we've equipped this vacuum with a dust collection bag. It's very important to have this bag in here to keep the dust from being recirculated in through the motor, which drywall dust will certainly damage the motor itself, and it also recirculates the dust up into the air. So we've equipped this with the Omega bag. This is a cloth reusable bag. If you don't have the Omega bag available, you can use just a regular paper dust collection bag. But be sure your vacuum is equipped with a dust collection bag. One of the reasons that we like to emphasize the dust-free collection system is to minimize not only the inconvenience of having dust blowing through the rest of the house, getting on your furniture, getting in your air returns, is also from a health standpoint. And it just makes for a lot cleaner job site. Now one of the final things we'll do after we've completed all of our sanding is do a final sweep with just a small brush attached to the vacuum. We'll wipe down these surfaces and we'll be ready to caulk and paint.